people that are joining the wrong class because there's also a P6 science class going on at the same time. So this is the P4, okay, not P6, uh, P4 Sunday 12 p.m. class. And my name is Mr. Bobby. You can call me Bobby, you can call me teacher, you can say Je. I will reply to those in the chat. Okay, something that we have learned before, or you guys definitely have learned before. Okay, so what do you think this is telling us about? So we are taking a look at a plant, and then there's leaves, flowers, fruits, stems, and roots. So what did you learn before that covers all this? Okay, what do you learn before that covers all this? Hmm. Like what Melody has mentioned, parts and functions of a plant. Okay, parts and functions of a plant and even into the plant system itself. Okay, some of you guys might not have learned more about the plant or the plant systems yet, but generally that has been covered in primary tree. Okay, if you are still not sure of it, feel free to go to our primary tree lessons. Okay, they are covering them. They have just finished covering them. Okay. Now, so let's take a look at the leaves. Okay, the function of the leaves, right, is to make food for the plants and also gaseous exchange. What does it mean by gaseous exchange? Okay, so some of us like, what is gaseous? I can see the word gas over there. Okay, it is something that, you know, this term is something that you'll learn more in primary four. Gaseous basically means gas or something that is in the, something that's like gas, okay, in the gas state. So mainly they are exchanging air. And just now I saw the text, okay, I saw the post, but I missed out the name. Very sorry about that, but someone also mentioned stomata, okay? This is done by the tiny openings on the leaves, okay? Stomatas, okay? I really noticed that word just now, but unfortunately, I didn't manage to catch the name, <laughs> okay? So, all this gaseous exchange, they exchange oxygen for carbon dioxide during the day, Okay, or they can just take in air from the surrounding. STO. Okay, maybe some maybe because I write until too close together, some of you guys might not be able to read my handwriting. Let me write it a bit more separate. Okay, stomata. Now the next two things we have will be flowers and fruits. But there's no functions. Why, why, why are there no functions for the flowers and fruits? Are they just there? Okay, it's not the case. They will only be further explained in P5. Okay, they'll be further explained in P5. So when you guys were in P3 or you guys are going to be learning it soon, they won't be touching much on it. And also, do all plants have flowers and fruits? Okay, flowering plants. This can only be found on flowering plants. So as you guys have learned in primary tree, there are two types of plants, flowering and non-flowering. So basically, whether does it produce flowers or does it not produce flowers? So like what Ethan mentioned, a non-flowering plant can be a fern or a moss. And since there are fruits, since there are fruits, there will be seeds as well. Okay, so that's actually one of the functions of a fruit. Okay, so fruits, seeds. So let's go to the next one. We'll be looking at the stems. Stems have three functions. It supports the plant, basically hold the plant upright. Okay, it holds the plant upright to gather sunlight and it also helps to spread the leaves okay spread the leaves out so that the leaves can get as much sunlight as possible okay to get as much sunlight as possible so that they can make more food for the plant okay 
And the last part will be the roots, which holds the plant firmly, okay, to the ground, firmly, so that you can't just pull it out with your little bit of strength. Okay, you need to use all your strength to maybe pull out a small plant. Okay. And it also helps to absorb water and minerals from the soil. Okay. So these are the things that you have learned in primary three. Okay. For most of you, some of you mentioned that you haven't learned it yet. So no worries. You'll probably cover it this year. So then you might be thinking, but Jill, we are still doing life cycles. Why are we learning about the different parts of plant? Okay. Why are we learning about the different parts of plant? Because today we are be learning the life cycles of plants. Now, someone is asking, what does it mean by firmly to the ground? That means it's hold on to the ground so tight that you that a slight gust of wind, okay, a slight gust of wind will not blow it away. You will need to use a lot of strength, okay, to pull it out. Or like what? Ping Han said, you can also say anchor instead of hold. Okay, so it's up to you on which word you prefer or which spelling you can remember. <laughs> okay, I remember when I was your age, spelling was quite a difficult thing for me. <laughs> okay, so today we'll be learning more about the life cycle of a flowering plant. Okay, do take note, we'll be focusing on flowering okay so we will not be looking at a non-flowering plant so all the life cycles we are learning today will be based on a flowering plant and a bit of a sneak peek there will be a seed a young plant and an adult plant stage just in case you guys have forgotten what is a life cycle a life cycle is a pattern that repeats itself continuously. Will it ever end? Can the life cycle end? Okay, is it possible for a cycle to end? Okay, it is very possible. It is very possible for a cycle to end. So, for example, just take a look at the days of the week. They are connected to each other, to one another. So if we just remove a day that we don't like, let's say we don't like Monday because Monday blues, then the week will no longer exist because our definition of one week is seven days. So if we remove Monday, it becomes six days, there'll be nothing connecting Sunday to Tuesday. Then this, this cycle will not continue. Okay, so in a life cycle, if somehow one of the stage just disappears or is gone, the life cycle will eventually be gone as well. Okay? So, so if you mentioned, that's when the animals were gone, will go extinct, or the plants will go extinct. Okay? So let's take a look at the life cycle of a plant. So as mentioned, there will be a seed stage. So the seed will eventually grow into a young plant. Okay, so when the young plant grows some leaves, with leaves, it will be able to make its own food. And over time, the plant will grow bigger and bigger and eventually become an adult plant, whereby flowers okay, will start to appear. Okay, whereby flowers will start to appear on the plant. And then with that, it will eventually produce a seed or many seeds and the whole cycle repeats itself. So yes, if the seeds are, so if the eggs of a certain insect are gone, let's say there are no more mosquito eggs, okay, eventually all the mosquitoes will disappear from earth. Okay, take note, this is only for flowering plants. Now, just now someone also did mention, okay, just now someone also mentioned how non-flowering plants reproduce. So how does non-flowering plant reproduce? Mm, okay, 
So like what Albert has said, non-flying plants will be by spores. Okay, they're reproduced by spores. Okay, like what after that many of you also mentioned, like Jolene, Sean, Kales. Okay. So anyone has any difficulty understanding this part? So let's go to the next slide and take a look at our first bubble question. Okay, let's take a look at our first bubble question. So which of the following statements about the life cycle of plants is correct? There's only 30 seconds for the options to stay on screen. So I'm going to give you guys about 30 seconds to take a look at the options first. Okay, I'll give you guys 30 seconds to take a look at the options first. Okay, then I will release the options for you guys to answer. Now, many of you, some of you guys chose option one, but option one is not correct. So for those who got this question correct, why is option one wrong? Okay, why is option one wrong? Okay, because of the word or. Okay, because of the word or. If you want to use the word or, it'd be or flowering plants. Like I mentioned just now, non-flowering plants reproduce by spores. Okay, non-flowering plants reproduce by spores. Only flowering plants reproduce by seeds. Okay, so that's why option one is wrong. Okay, all plants will be non-flowering and flowering. So there'll be plants that like ferns, they're reproduced by spores. Okay, so the answer is three. Okay, so hopefully you guys understood what went wrong for that question. Okay, or for this question, not that. So let's take a look at the stages of a life cycle. So based on the video just now, we know that it's, there is a seed stage. Okay, notice I'm not saying that it begins with a seed stage. I'm saying that is a seed stage because it's a cycle. I have no idea where is the starting point. So let us link it to the animal's life cycle. So we know that a seed is similar to the egg stage. Okay, it's similar to the egg stage of the animal's life cycle. So in case you guys did not know, okay, a seed is a living thing. Okay, a seed is a living thing. That means it can grow. Okay, it will eventually reproduce as an adult plant. Okay, and it can respond to changes. But what does it need to survive? Okay, many of you have mentioned the answer. So I'll take a look at the first one that I see. Sue, you are correct air, food, and water, okay? Now, do we always have to write it in this order? No, but we will always have to write all three of them, okay? If you, are, if you like to write water, air, and food, it's fine, <laughs> okay? They are not going to say that you are wrong, you write in the wrong order, okay? Not for this kind of statement. So it depends on which one, how you remember them, air, food, water, water, food, air, water, air, food, food, water, air, they are all fine. Okay. So, of course, like all eggs, all seeds, they will eventually grow. Okay. As it grows, it will grow into a young plant. So, now, so when an egg hatch, right, the animal will just come out. So we have no idea what happens inside the egg. But when you grow a seed, okay, you will notice how it grows. So as a seed grows into a young plant, the roots will grow first. Then eventually it will, the shoots will grow. Now, I'm just going, I'm just going to mention something in advance because this term is going to come out in 
the next few questions. This process, okay, this process of growing from a seed to a young plant is called germination. Okay, this term is called germination. But I'm not going to go into detail what is required for germination, what happens during germination. Just know that this process is called germination and most schools will actually cover them in P5. Okay, most schools will actually cover them in P5. Okay. Now, so why do you think, okay, why do you think the roots will come up first? Since roots come up first, that means the roots must be doing something really important, which is to absorb water. So the reason why roots have to come out first is to absorb water. Because it is a living thing, it will need water to survive. So without water, if, when the seed is growing, it will die. And you guys have carried a seed before, right? Or at least seen a seed before. Some seeds are very small. So, which means they can be easily moved away by the wind. So, it's also important to hold the plant firmly to the ground so that it doesn't just fly away. Imagine it landed at a space with its friends and then they are all happy growing and then the wind blows and then all the friends go in different corners and then they're like, hashtag forever alone. Okay, so that would be quite sad, right? So they will have to make sure that they stay near their friends. Okay, they will anchor themselves firmly to the ground to make sure that nothing push them away from the conditions that they need to grow. So whenever we talk about food, we often relate it to leaves for plants. But are there leaves on the seed? Have you guys ever seen a normal leaf on a seed? Okay, there is no normal leaf, but there is something called a seed leaf or seed leaves. Okay, which is over here. Now, the purpose of a seed leaf, right? In plural, will be seed leaves is to store food for the seed. Okay, it's to store, it's actually a store of food for the seed. So think of it as like a bag of food. So what will happen if you keep taking food out from the bag? What will happen if you keep taking food out from the bag? Okay, it will not die even. It will not die immediately. Okay, so maybe day one, I take out one bud. Day two, I take out a bag of potato chips. Day three, I take out chicken rice for some reason. <laughs> okay, it hasn't, it hasn't spoiled yet. So if you keep taking food out from the bag, it will firstly become smaller because now there's less food inside. It will shrink. And it will also become lighter. Okay, it will shrink and it will also become lighter. And what do you do with a bag if it's empty? Okay, you will probably put it somewhere. So once the food bag is empty or the seed leaf is empty, it will eventually drop to the ground. Okay, so this is what happens to the seed leaf. So if you keep taking food from it, it becomes smaller and smaller, lighter and lighter. Eventually when it's empty, it will just drop. So many people tend to have some confusion on what does a seed leaf do? Like it says leaf, so make food. No, this is actually more of a bag of food. Okay, now. There's also something called a seed coat. Not that crucial, okay? 
some schools to ask about them. A seed coat is like the outer covering of a seed, so it will protect the seed. Okay? Most of the time, if it's outside of something, it's meant to protect it. Like, for example, our clothes. We wear clothes to protect ourselves from the heat, from the cold, okay, or from weird people staring. Okay, so that's the purpose of clothes. Okay, so it's outside, must be protecting us from something. Let's go to the next slide. So, once again, the term germination is here. Hopefully, you guys remember what it means by germination. Okay, I mentioned that just now. So at which stage A, B, C, or D shows the start of germination? Since there's nothing much to read, I will launch the question. 30 seconds, okay? Only 30 seconds and the time starts now. Okay, so some people might have missed out the word germination and be like, Joe, what is germination? On the screen, man, I look at all the text, don't have any. Okay, it is something that I written down just now, telling you guys that it will appear later. So once again, germination is when the seed starts to grow into a young plant. Okay, the entire process of the roots coming out first, then the shoot starts to grow and eventually be a young plant. That is germination. Okay. So germination is only used for plants or particularly seeds and particularly seeds and spores. Okay, please don't use on people. Don't say that you are germinating. We are not germinating. We are growing. <laughs> okay, germination is only for plants. Okay, so basically when something starts growing out from the plant, it will be the start of the germination process. But once again, the entire process of germination will be covered in P5. Okay, will be covered in greater detail in P5. Now, let's see a little short animation okay, on how germination takes place. Okay, you might be learning more about it in P5. That doesn't mean that we can't see a bit of it now. Uh, there's no sound for this video. Okay, so first it grows the roots, then eventually the coat will drop off. Okay, growing the shoots. Okay, the seed leaves will be providing food while the seed is growing, and it will eventually drop onto the ground. And this whole cycle will continue. Okay, so let's watch that again. So as you can see, as stated in the video, in order for a seed to germinate or to start growing, you will need water, warmth, and air. So roots will grow up first because it needs to take in water. So at this stage, right, the young plant or the seed itself will get food from the seed leaf. So only when the true leaf or the leaves has been developed can the plant make its own food. And eventually, the seed leaves run out of food already. It will just drop off to the ground. So some of you guys might still be asking, so why must the roots come out first? So why must the roots come out first? So if, we, if I go back to this slide and you take a look at the seed itself, right? There is no bag of water, okay? There is no water inside the seed. So there is a seed leaf to provide food, but there is no water or there's nothing to provide water. And as we know, if the living thing doesn't receive water within a few within a period of time, it will die. So that's why 
it will need to grow roots first. Okay, so plants are actually pretty smart. They know what they need. They don't just, it's time to grow, and then somehow they don't grow correctly and dies. Okay, so they know that even though I'm young, I know I need water. I need to grow roots first. Okay, the sound of a one day old, the voice of a one day old seed. I have been hinting this a lot of times. So let's see if you guys are able to put in what I've been hinting into a graph. Okay, so the correct answer is two. So remember I've been saying as the seed grows, okay, as the seed grows, it will take food from the seed leaf. And since it is like a bag of food, the more you take, the lighter it becomes. So the seed leaf will become lighter, weight will become lighter. Okay, as the seedling grows. So as it grows, so how do we know the seedling is growing? It'll be moving from the left to the right. So this means the height is increasing. So if the weight is going, is becoming lighter, it must be going downwards. Okay, then what does this mean? What does this kind of graph mean? Some of you guys are confused on the difference between a vertical line and a horizontal line. So if it's a vertical line, right, this means that during this point, okay, during this part of the graph, the height or the weight of the seat is zero. Okay, the weight of the seat is zero. But suddenly, when it reaches this point, there is so much different weight. <laughs> the seed leaf can be one, can be two, can be 10, can be infinite. So they are basically saying that the weight of the seed leaves is like infinite. It just suddenly shoot up. Okay. Or maybe shoot up to the max here, wherever, whatever that is. And then suddenly it goes back to become zero grams or zero kg. So this kind of graph rarely happens. Okay. So if you see this kind of graph, at most it will happen for light. Okay. Something that you'll be learning in the future for light, whereby there's a sudden straight line upwards or downwards. So we have been saying that, oh, it will eventually grow into a young plant. Okay, you eventually grow into a young plant. But how do we know that it is a young plant? So how do we know that it's a young plant already? Does it just suddenly announce, I am a young plant? Okay, does it like after one, one after growing in roots, it's considered a young plant? So it's only considered a young plant when the leaves are developed. Okay, when the leaves are developed. So how do we consider it as a young plant? When it is able to make its own food. So a seed will still be considered a seed if it's still taking food from the seed leaf. But once the leaves are grown, they can start making their own food. Okay, then they will be considered as a young plant. And some of you guys might have already seen the word, but a young plant is also known as, anyone knows what's the other name for the young plant? We can also call it as a, it is also a seedling. Okay, something that was actually shown in the previous slide. Okay, so this is when we consider it to be a young plant. So putting all of that together, so putting all of that together, 
Let's take a look at this question. Now we need to rearrange the following to show the sequence of growth of a seed. So we start off from a seed and then eventually it will grow into an adult plant. So for this, right, let's take a look. For A, flowers develop. For B, the root appears from the seed. C, the fruits form from the flowers. D, the seed appears from the seed. E, the plant starts to make its own food. So based on the earlier slides, right, we know that B must come before D. Okay, B must come before D. And looking at the statements, A must come before C. So if that's the case, what is the answer? Because they say fruits form from the flowers. So that means the flowers must develop first, right? Okay, so the correct option is three. So as the shoot appears, it will start to develop leaves because it will become a young plant and the young plant will eventually develop flowers. Okay, so there is an E in the middle. Okay, so let's go to the next one. So another bubble question. So this one I've mentioned many, many times. So you have 30 seconds, okay? 30 seconds to answer this question. And the time starts now. It is number four, because once again, we are looking at roots, okay? So why do we need roots? It is to absorb water and to anchor the plant. So the other three functions are not related to the roots at all. So we have talked about the seed, we have talked about the seedling. So now we'll be talking about the adult plants. And as we know, all adult stage, okay, through all the life cycles of animals that we have looked at, all adult stage are only considered adult when they are able to reproduce. Same thing for plants. Okay, same thing for plants. And since we are focusing on flowering plants, since we are focusing on flowering plants, it will be when they are able to produce flowers. It'll be when they are able to produce flowers. So this means your plant is considered an adult. Sorry, your flowering plant is considered an adult if it starts to grow flowers. Sometimes we know that our plant has reached the adult stage because it's quite old already, but it is still not growing any flowers at all. They'll be like, why our, why our plant don't want to grow up? Why our plant want to stay as a young plant? Okay, that is not the case because sometimes, okay, sometimes, they need favorable conditions. So to grow a seed, <clears throat> okay, to develop a flower and for the seed to grow, okay, it will need favorable conditions. The conditions must be correct. What kind of conditions? It'd be like the temperature, how hot or how cold the place is, and whether is there water. Okay, so for adult plant, it's pretty straightforward. It's considered adult when it starts to develop flowers and then eventually it will develop fruits with seeds. But all this can, any, can only take place when okay, the conditions are correct. Okay, so with that, let's go to another bubble question. 
So this is a pretty straightforward question. They are asking you what stage this is. So since it's a pretty simple question, you have 30 seconds. Okay, I almost say 30 minutes. Okay, you have 30 seconds to answer this question. Okay, so this is the adult stage because there are fruits. And in order for there to be fruits, it must be able to make flowers. Okay, so it is through the fruit that we know. Okay, like what Elliot has been saying. So now we are shown different options of life cycles of a flowering plant. So based on what we learned today, which one do you think is the correct cycle? Some of you guys might not have the time okay, to answer, but the correct option is one. Okay, the correct option is one. Two is for a non-flowering plant. Okay, so for three, it is not possible. There's no adult plants in the stage at all. And some of you guys are asking, what is a bud? Anyone knows what is a bud? Okay, firstly, option four is in the wrong order because it's not the fruit to the flower. But what is a bud? A bud, right, is basically a flower that has not bloomed or open up. So it is still shy. Okay, so basically the flower is still shy. It is not open up to insects or for us to see yet. It is still like hiding under the blanket. So that's when we call it a flower bud. But once the flower is ready, it is developed enough, it will bloom or open up for us to see its glory. Okay? Not really shy, but still developing. Okay? So that's what a bud is. Okay, or that's what a flower bud is. They are asking at which stage, okay? They are asking at which stage is the seedling, is or are the seedling able to make food? Okay, so with that, I will give you guys one minute, okay? One minute to take a look at the images and decide what is the correct answer. And one minute starts now, okay? So the correct answer is three. So basically in order to make its own food, they must have something that starts with the letter L. There must be leaves. Okay. There must be leaves. And only A and B have that. So take a look at question nine. So if I'm honest, this is a relatively difficult question. Okay, this is a relatively difficult question that requires you to understand the entire life cycle of a plant. Because they show five stages while we only learn three. So that's something interesting already. Okay, but then they have the fruit, they have flowers in the options. Okay, so this question will be one minute and 30 seconds. Okay, one minute, 30 seconds for you guys to consider or think what is the correct answer. And the time starts now. The correct answer is four. Okay, the correct answer is four. But many of you guys didn't manage to get that. So why is it four? Like, Jo. Today we learn after adult stage must be the seed stage, right? Mm. Well, you're not wrong. Normally after the adult stage will be the seed stage, but we have flower and fruit as well. 
Okay, so and we are only given one stage. So what we have to do is to work on the stage before the adult stage and the stage after the adult stage. So if we think about it, right, before the adult stage, it can only be a young plant or a seedling. It cannot be a flower or a fruit that requires an adult plant. So based on that, only option two and option four is possible. Then what can be after an adult stage? Both flowers and fruit can be after the adult stage. Okay, both is possible, but something else we also know is that a flower develops into a fruit, but this is the other way around. Okay, option two is the other way around. That's why the answer is four. Okay, so you got any questions on how did I actually solve this question? Anyone confused on how I solved the question? So we have identified the different stages of our flowering plants. Okay, as well as we described what changes as a, as a plant grows from a seed to a seedling and eventually to an adult plant. Okay, so at this point in time, if you have any questions, you can ask now. But if you don't have any questions, if you don't have any questions, then you may make a move. <laughs>